So today let's spend a few minutes talking about clairaudience. A clairaudience is the French term that means clear hearing. And again, when you think about talking and communicating with our angels, knowing that our angels are pure love, the more appropriate definition for clairaudience as it concerns our angel connection is the ability to clearly hear love, to clearly hear our angels. Now, clairaudience is a wonderful gift, but it is something that takes a little bit of practice. We're so used to, in our society, hearing a constant influx of noise, from white noise to brown noise, just all kinds of noise that we hear all day long. So being able to hear the angels sometimes amidst all that can be a little bit of a challenge. It takes practice, but it's very much worth the results and worth the effort. So a few examples of how the angels can communicate with us clear audiently is, first of all, through music. It's so inspiring to be able to turn the radio on and hear just the right song at just the right moment. It's absolutely a way that the angels can message us or can connect with us through music, and that happens through our hearing. Another way is through overhearing a conversation. To say you've got a certain concern that's on your heart and in your mind, and suddenly, unexpectedly, you overhear two people talking about a treatment modality or a technique that they've used to address a problem similar to what you're experiencing. That is the angels communicating to you through your hearing using an experience that you're having in the everyday world. Another example of clear audience is hearing the name of someone called out in, in a crowd or out in the world as a confirmation that this person or that this angel is with you. So let's say, for example, that in the meditation you discovered that your guardian angel's name is Michael. And then let's say you're having a really stressful day and you walk into an elevator and someone asks another passenger, so have you talked to Michael lately? That would be a connection through your clairaudient abilities that the angels are letting you know that you're, you are supported and that they are in fact with you in that very moment. So music is a powerful way that we can hear messages from our angels. Conversations that are overheard is another way. Names that are called out. These are all very potent and effective ways in which the angels can deliver messages through us, through our everyday experiences in the world, through our ability to hear. Now, our inner voice is just as powerful and can be just as strong as the things we hear in the world around us. So some examples of clear audience experiences are the ways in which the angels can deliver messages to you through your inner hearing will be hearing the still, small voice within you. So say you ask for assistance, or you ask if your angels are with you, and you hear a voice in your mind say yes. This is a way that you can hear guidance from your angels. If you ask any kind of question, wait and listen. The answer will always come to you. You will always be provided with the loving assistance and the careful guidance that you need in order to strengthen yourself and to heal your life and to empower yourself in every way. So ask and listen. Listen to the still, small inner voice. If you have a song that pops into your mind unexpectedly, not when you turn the radio on, but when you're considering something or pondering a decision, and suddenly your mind is filled with a song, this is another example of how the angels can communicate with us through Claire audience. So the still small voice within, music that comes to us from within our mind, and also hearing our name called, hearing a voice, a familiar and comforting voice filling our ears is another experience with Claire audience that the angels can use in order to help us understand that we're not alone. So to strengthen your clairvoyance, it's very important to spend time in quiet. You don't have to be in silence where you're in a padded room with earplugs and nothing and no one can disturb you, but it is important to carve out a little bit of time each day where you don't have to be stimulated by all the auditory information that's out there. You can just be still, have soft music or something that sounds pleasing to you, but it's really important to give yourself some time and some space every day so that you can truly, truly listen. The other thing that's important with Claire audience is to go into these experiences without having an expectation or without having a need to anticipate or to control the information that comes to you. So if you're really wanting, truly wanting guidance, and the information that comes to you is a little bit different than maybe what you want or expect, be willing to receive that, even if it sounds different than what you may have thought you wanted to hear. So be very open and receptive to the guidance that you receive when you take the moment to listen. We'll answer some questions together now. Thank you for joining me today for the video presentation.